In this particular video of ExpressJS, we are going to do another aspect of state management that is session management. As in the previous video itself, we have seen the implementation of cookies where we saw like it stores the value on the client's machine as a text file. The sessions are actually stored on the server side and the ID whenever a session is being made for a particular client, its ID will be unique and that unique ID will be stored on the client's machine in cookies so that a particular request can be tracked like from which particular uh, client this request has been made and which data should be submit. So all this thing would be possible by this sessions only. So make sure as we are also including, including the implementation of cookies where the session ID will be stored. So you'll have to continue with the cookie parser in this example along with the express session module which will help us or which will provide us some middlewares for the session things. So let's see it practically how to implement these sessions in express apps. In this example, we are maintaining the sessions. Session internally use the cookies. So as you can see here itself, I have taken the cookie parser and session both. In session, we are using the express session and Morgan for the log and Morgan for the logging part. In the middleware, since before getting started with the session, make sure the cookies in cookies are in action. So I have used the use method before. So I have used the use method of for cookie parser before the session. In the session, for encrypting the data which I want to store on the server side, I have used this sec secret key. Save uninitialized to two, true. That means even if you will not make any changes to the session, it will get saved. If you want to work on the login sessions in which you want to put any data only when the login is done, you can make it false so that if user is not logging in, this session will not be saved on the server side. And as I said, this secret key will be used to encrypt the data before getting stored. And in the cookie section, you can see I have set the max age that is 60,000 millisecond. That is 60 second means one minute. Similarly, you can set the maximum age for the cookies as well. Here I am implementing it along with the sessions. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using this session for counting the number of loads of a page on a particular session. So I have bound a variable called views. If this is not defined in the else part, we will define it and initialize it with one and will give you a message refresh page. When you will refresh the page for the next time, this get request will again work and every time it will make an increment to this view. And here you can see I have printed the views and the maximum age in seconds. So let's see how this output will look like. Since server is already running, let's come to the browser now. So as here, you are getting the message refresh page. When I will refresh, you can see it's somewhat equivalent to 60, right? And uh, views are getting incremented. Maximum age is one minute. That simply means after one minute, when you will not do anything right here, the session will get expired. So when I will refresh it again after one minute, one minute is over now, you see again I'll get this message because that session is expired and a new session is now created. So this is how you can implement sessions in your node applications.